Okay, so we're done with video three and we learned about layout managers. Now it's time to use what we learned. Okay, so we're going to have an exercise that uses layout managers, but it's also going to have you use the concepts of event driven programming that you use on video one and video two. I want you to develop a tic tac toe GUI that looks exactly like below. You see the title, you see a 3x3 three three with evenly spaced buttons, and you see a status bar on the bottom. <clears throat> okay. So whenever I click on a box, I want to see the player whose turn it is to appear on that individual button, and I also want to see whose turn it is next change on the status bar. Okay, so the expectations... Uh, my expectations are not for a full, fully working game, though that'd be great. You'll get bonus points for it. My, my expectations are for certain limited functionality. I want the layout to be correct. I should be able to click on a button and have a player appear. So if the button's empty, whoever's turn it is should pe appear, like an X or an O. If there's somebody already on the button, I'd like to see no action take place since the square is already taken. The focus is on component layout and not necessarily complete functionality in terms of do I have a winner, do I not have a winner. And there's extra points for having alternating X's and O's so you keep track of the player accordingly, only allowing valid moves so you can't move what somebody already is, and the correct updating of status. So once again, the main goal is to make sure that you can get a GUI to look exactly like you want it to, and I gave you the picture that I'm after. Second goal, I want you to be able to control action events and listeners. So when something happens, gets clicked, you can have the correct behavior happen on the GUI. So a quick example, if I ran tic-tac-toe, tic-tac-toe, have a board, see the title bar, I can click on a box and the player appears, now it's player O's turn. If I click on another box, O shows up here and tells me that it's X's turn. If I click on O again, nothing should happen since the square is already taken. Okay, enjoy the exercise.